The function g is given by g of x equals sine x minus cos x and has a period of 2 pi. I don't know why it gives you that information because it's a calculator section. I'm going to end up showing you a graph to this anyway. But in order to define the inverse function of g, which of the following specifies a restricted domain for g and provides a rationale for why g is invertible on that domain? All right, what does all this mean? Simply put, the graph looks like this if I were to not tell you anything about it. And what I'll actually do is I'll show you a picture of the graph, but I'll also draw it right here. Uh, let's try to make this somewhat accurate. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Now we know that if we were to take the inverse of this, that flips it up and makes it look like that. Well, we know that that's no good because that fails the vertical line test. So what we can do to see where this is not going to be uh, invertible, in other words, where can't I take the inverse of this, is we do what's called the horizontal line test. And that allows us to be like, oh, well, it's you can't use these pieces right here because that fails the horizontal line test because if I were to flip it to its side, it would fail the vertical line test. So what I have to do is I have to use the picture that I'm going to show up here and find out where um, my guy it is going to fail the horizontal line test. So this these are basically what I'm looking for. Okay, where is this invertible? Okay, where can I flip this to its side and have it pass the vertical line test? Well, this here says between zero and pi, uh, because all possible values of g occur without repeating on the interval. Well, zero and pi, according to this picture, zero and pi fails the horizontal line test. So a is no good. Between negative four, or negative pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, it passes the horizontal line test. Hooray! So let's just kind of hold on to this. C has the same first part as A, so C is no good. D has the same first part, uh, but D is no good, or D is still good, I'm sorry, as B. So let's have B and D there, and let's understand why. If I were to do the horizontal line test, I have no repeating parts, so B is going to be my guy. So why is D not my guy? Because it tells me that the length of the interval is half of the period. That has nothing, 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 nothing to do with any of these guys, because technically all of these guys are half the period. So if we were to be like, well, if it's half the period, then why don't I just choose this guy? No, because being half the period has nothing to do. Like if I were to pick these points right here at the very tippy top, this fails the vertical line test. And this number is much less than half the period. So half the period has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with whether or not the points that I choose pass the horizontal line test and B passes the horizontal line test. So B is my guy. Very strange problem. Not a fan of it, but there you have it.